Big game, big players. Bones vs Peckham. We're here to get three points, nothing more, nothing less. Nothing personal. Never has been. Yes, Chris, we say. An interesting fact. Peckham Town have never beat us. So why has it changed today? We've got supporters with better time keeping than the management. I'm saying, Don't you? Yeah? Like that, Chris. Did you see the fight yesterday? Yeah. Man, like that. Yeah, man, all good still, man. What are you man saying though? It's a reboy jungle fam. It's a reboy jungle. I thought he was going to play in the pitch, man. They got it wrong, boy. Oh, yes! Boom! 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 Turn up late, you get that treatment. Turn up late, you get boomed. Hey, hey, there's the man himself. You see? You see? Hey, listen, Jops. I need you to clear up the rumours, man. The people are asking where you are, fam. I told them I'm a businessman. <laughs> they they want to know two things from Are you alive? I'm alive, fam. Are you well, fam? Are you breathing? The hey, there you go. <laughs> I feel like it's a 4 1 win still. I give them, I give them one because of Mad B. Mad B ain't playing. He's like, oh, cancel for them, man. <laughs> it's cancel for them, man. Hey, hey. I'm seeing Zach score two. My man King score one. And obviously, our very own Ryan Palmer. Hey, there you go. There you go. Done. What was your thoughts on the fight last night? No, it's irrelevant, but um, um, I really thought Eubank was gonna do a job on him. I was really, I was behind Eubank still, but fam, George Groves, I earned my respect, boy. Levels, fam. I hope to see Eubank bounce back, but I think Groves done a real job and deserves respect, fam. Officially a player now. Yes, go on. <sighs> last week was good, eight 0 win, but it means nothing now. We go on to today's game, and yeah. Looking for another win, another solid performance. This is a derby game, so it means a lot to the boys. I grew up in Lewisham, same as most of us. You don't lose to Peckham. Score prediction. 3 1 done. I'm upset that they think we're going to concede. 3 1 to us. Why do you say we're going to concede for? 2, two, two or 3 1. Going 2 or 3 1. Why are you saying we're going to concede for? 4 1. Why are you saying we're not going to concede, bro? Alright, let's see what Gaffer says. Let's see what Gaffer says and then we'll know. What's the score predictions? Your honest score predictions. Right, my honest score prediction. Dons, four, Peckham nil. Love that! <laughs> Love that! That's a real Gaffer! Mad B, what's the score predictions? <laughs> See no evil here, no evil! They haven't beaten us in three games. We've had tough games with them. I'm, I'm suggesting a tight game. 2-1, they might go in front and then we come back. Why are you big time shit? That, that team last week weren't good enough to beat us. These are. Last week meant nothing. Wait, you you're not playing well last week, having a fucking laugh. They were an embarrassment. So this is the real games. Who's going to shut up now? Who's going to shut up in these games? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, he looks to make sure the camera was on you. Know? Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right, lads. They're gonna be very physical. Mm. They want to win, they want to win like everyone does. We gotta want it more and we've got to keep our head on the three points. We're here for three points. Last but not least, majority of us here are from, from Lewisham. You do not lose to Peckham. <laughs> and I'm not bantering. You do not lose. I only want three points. I, I'm not fussed about who, who's bad, who's this, who's that. I want three points. That's all no I want. Gimmicks. So let's do the job. Fuck the gimmicks. Yeah. Let's do the jobs. Yeah, yeah that's all I've got to say about it. Well, go on, my G's. Three points always. Come on. Score prediction, though. Three, one. Okay, then, so today's lineup. In goal, Big G. Three at the back, SK, Tyrone, Jazz. Middle three, me, Ryan Palmer, Jack Samutis. Left wing back, King. Right wing back, Nan. Two centre forward, Zach Anser and Nathan Palmer. On the bench today, we got Neil, Doug, Nathan the Cat and Ramel. Big shout out to Mitch Cam, Swanley T, Mr. Old School, the physio, and the second cameraman that came down to film us today. Last but not least, a big shout out to Federico, who is responsible for all the drawings, so hit him up and you can get some done for yourself. Okay then, what's happening? Here we are. The time has come. One of the biggest rivalries in Sunday League football, Dons versus Peckham. This one is personal. There is history. Uh, we've played them three times before. They've never beaten us. Here's Nathan Palmer. That's an early foul. Dirty! Already? 
So here's our player, Gaffer Ram Palmer, just rolls one over. He's playing in the middle today alongside myself. He's giving it to Nathan Palmer. He cuts one in, trying to find Zach Hansen, but it's kept by them. Now here at the Dons, we always tell our players, put your head where it hurts. Sometimes you've got to put your balls where it hurts. And that's exactly what Tyrone done. And I think he's paying the press. What, what? You off? Balls. So first up, on comes Nathan, off comes Tyrone. Petnam G's or Petnam Geese? So goal kick to Peckham Town, he's whipped it out, uh, his Naddy's putting pressure on the ball, he's done well, the ball is falling to the feet of uh, Nathan Palmer, he's dropped it back to Ryan Palmer, um, he's collected it, taking it past one, still tweet where we even the turn, he looked up, he's found Jackson Mutis, can he open up his body, he certainly can, left foot, is it Dulwich? So early sparring, most of the possession at the moment is with the Dons, it's been a bright start, there's Jack Caldino with it through to Nathan Palmer, he's giving it back to Jack. Uh, Jack's looked out wide and found Nad. Nad's managed to pass it through to Jack. Um, I'll tell you what, it's an honest play there. He could have gone down. He's wobbling all over the place, but he's kept standing. He's moved to in Zach Hanser. Come on, boys! We need to take these chances! From a boy to a lino to a sideline gaffer. Now he's SK the player. So the three drew work. They slapped me back in the middle for this game, and I'm just cleaning my desk there. Um, now listen, at this stage of the year, guys, man, the, the pitches are really dreadful and we recommend people should wear studs because when you're wearing moulds, this is what happens. You're slipping, you're sliding everywhere and this case is giving a penalty. Oh my days, ref! That was the biggest time ever! Come on, come on! These men ain't even all that. We won, man. Yeah, man, we won shit, man. a penalty and we're dead. Big G to save it, five to one. Spot kick, Big G. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, now that's why he's the skipper, Big G the skipper. It, it takes a certain breed of man to be a skipper of South East Don's Football Club. And he's just stepped up there and he's been counted. And we're still in the game, they nearly nicked one. Anyway, he's been crossed in. That's a goal, but they've thrown off for offside. Listen, listen to me. What's the problem? Listen to me. Stay off. Why? Are you, are you the official? You're on our squad, you know? Come on. Yeah, but you're on our side. Come on, listen. We was green out before Peckham Town. So that was Matt B getting a little bit frustrated that someone from his own team was telling him to get off the line. I get it, I understand that. Anyway, Peckham on the break. Decent effort. And we fell asleep the last five minutes. Wake up! Don Mitch. So 24 minutes has been played. It's, it's, it's been mainly the Dons. It's Ryan Palmer's just sold him a crocodile with that one. Um, he's looked up and he, and he spotted a run of, who's this? Um, I'm not sure, it's Nad, Nad's collected the ball. Uh, the number 12, I think that is on him, and he's, he's done quite well there, he's defended well, he's cleared it out. So more pressure from the Dons, it's a throw on, it's uh, Nathan Palmer, he's turned out, he's looked up, he's got Jackson Mutis, so okay, Jack Aldino in, in loads of space, can he get a shot off? So goal kick for uh, Peckham, it's been cleared up by myself, only in the path of Jackson Mutis, he's just hopped over him like, like a deer. Uh, he's still on the ball now, he's cutting inside, he's got Nathan Palmer through on goal. Got a little touch, but he just can't manage to get out of his feet and it's been cleared. So again, it's that man Ryan Palmer, who, who's, he's really making it tick today. He's moving a bit like Paul Scholes, with a bit more pace on him. Um, he's looked up, it's a lovely through ball through to the path of Nathan Palmer. He is through on goal, it is a one-on-one, -on -one. can he keep composed? He tries to trip the keeper, it's like answer. What? So, uh, finally the deadlock has been broken courtesy of Nathan Palmer's run, Ryan Palmer's pass and Zach Anser's finish. I think we deserve it. Uh, we wind it up but that is not the end of the game. We've got a long, long game to go. Is Ryan Palmer anyway again? He's just dispossessed him in the middle of the park. I tell you what, he skipped past him like a girl does in a playground. Um, he, he's showing his class today. When he, when he plays like this, the guy's untouchable. It's that man again, Palmer. Uh, it's a lovely switch of play. Over to Jack Aldino, he gets his head on the ball. Um, he's through on goal, can he cut it back? It's Nathan Palmer! What to the run there? Fuck you! I'll drag him. Heads up! You get another one! You get another one! I like him, man! Now listen, I think Nathan Palmer would be the first one to admit he spilt his milk with that one there. But listen, he's uh, the top goal scorer at the club so far. So um, he gets a day off every now and then. Anyway, it's a foul from Ryan Palmer. And that will be a free kick for Peckham Town. Uh, this geezer steps up and he hits the roof. Now listen, I've always said, uh, a bang average footballer with heart and desire will make himself the first on the team sheet. But here I am proving I've got a little bit more. Well done, ref! We have that! 
Like when we analyze danger players, um, this is one of their danger men. I think his name is Jermaine. Um, and he's a good player, he's a tricky player, he's fast and he works hard. He scored against us in the start of the year when we played against him. So he is, he's one guy that we've got, we got to keep quiet. He's done well with battled well to win back from Jazz. He's through on goal. Can he get a shot? He certainly can, but it's well held from Big G. Now there's rumours going around that KFC have run out of chicken. I'll tell you what, this geezer hasn't. He's just selling buckets for, for, for free, literally for free. And he's switched it all the way over to, who's that, to King? And that's just a fantastic bit of football there. It's quick feet from the geezer. Um, it, it's a pleasure to watch, I must say. Well done, you. It's, like, again, this guy's a king as well. Please watch out for this guy. Dangerous. Uh, but, he, but he's bottled the shot. Anyway, it's Nad. He's given it up through to Nathan Palmer. It's been taken out. That's how long. Ref, how long, ref? Ref, how long? Ref, how long? How's he getting away with that? How's he getting away with that? I say it every week, some of you are just here for the Sunday League tackles. There's one. Thank you. So listen, at 1-0 has been pretty comfortable for the Dons, but we cannot afford to switch off at any point. Um, because we will be punished, and here is why we can't afford to switch off. Yes, he has struck the bar and is still in possession for Peckham Town. Cameraman's gone nuts, but it's gone wide. Now, another decent player for Peckham Town was their number 16, this guy. He was getting on the ball and moving it. Um, he's, he's gone past some there. He's whipped one in, but uh, Big G don't like aeroplanes. So what's happened here is uh, the Peckham Town player got up because someone said, hey, get up. He were not happy about it. He's asking who said it. So SK stepped up and said, I said it. Um, you know, and they've come together and it is what it is. Like, it's nothing, man. It's what happens every time I play Peckham. So yeah, it's all good. Don, what are your thoughts on that first half so far? Yeah, yeah. It's a good half, man. They're a good team, so it's a good battle. Hey, my bad, boys. That's the worst half I've had in a Don shirt. Oh, yeah. It's gone now, it's gone now. Boys, we are, we are too winning. fucking far away from each other. From the back to the middle. I know the pitch is big, but don't take the piss. Don't toss it off. As a team, right? Like, this half, no, it's no excuses, but it's, it's been a dogged half. This is a half that we've had to just battle out to get the result. And then it's going to be a lot easier this half. When, 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 when Jack and King float out wide, we're dangerous. Yes. Mm. We've got, they're faster, they're more skillful. Mm. We've got to get them on the ball. These lot are dead, like. They're not the same Peckham time we played. They're no threat. They're, they're no threat. Play so stop. Peckham. Play our team. Yeah. Play how we play. We, we hyped up the game for it to be a battle and all this, but they're not on our level anymore. No, really. We've, yeah, we've yeah, grown yeah. since then. So stop, let's stop giving them that respect that like they're on our level. Play our yeah. game. Right. Enjoy yeah. it. Stop yeah. making it so pressure, like putting pressure on yeah. the game. Yeah. Enjoy it yeah. and win the game lovely. Why we're allowed to actually play behind and get on the ball? Because we're taking three of their footmen out of the game. Mm. And you are not noticing. You're thinking, oh, why are we putting pressure? I'm doing it for a reason. They have one man marking Jack, marking me. Marking him, you two have got to show up. You've got to show up. King got to show up. He's got no one marking him. Oh, we're going downhill now. Yeah. I said, I lost it. It was in my head, and I was running up and down, and it's gone. Okay, so it's that time. It's done of the week when we big up those people that are bigging us up. Let's get cracking. First things first. My barber Tolga always looks after me. Big up you, fella. Josh Wallace, brand new longest night package. Watching the Dons. I see you. Billy Bradnam. Uh, loving his longest nighty jumper, big up geese. Ben North, looking like a drunk version of Woody. Anything for the Dons. Don't know your name bro, but you're repping so big up. And you know we always save the best till last. This is Miss Narin in her anything jumper. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so second half begins and if we can manage to keep this one and win this game, it's almost like a six pointer because we are currently on the same amount of points as Peckham with the same games played. Um, so if we win this, we'll go three points above them legitimately and we'll be sitting third in the league. So it's important. Here's King and he's been taken out. So, free kick for the Dons. Jackson Mutis and he struck the framework. Don't leave it two on two, please. So corner ball, uh, Big G's collected it. Safe hands from him. He's looked up. Uh, Mad B said to not, to not leave it two on two. Uh, but they have left it two on two. And it's Zach Ans no, Nathan Palmer, sorry. Putting great pressure on the keeper. How about this for a touch from Zach? Keep fucking running! Some, listen, man. Some things this geezer does is just naughty. To be polite, it is naughty. I must say, anyway, it is Ryan Palmer. Um, he's got support. He's rolled him. He's gone straight past him. Can he whip one in? Uh, it's a corner ball for the Dons. Make sure Ty keeps with the line. He's just watching. Tyrone, he's the line, no? And he's not watching the line. So it's Palmer again. He switched it out wide to King, who is a threat at all times. This guy's probably got one of the best feet in the team. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> now listen, if this is not a penalty, then what is? Honestly, what is? What did you see? 
Yeah. What did you say? It's absolutely ridiculous. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not. Lionel, I, I know you saw that. I know you saw that, mate. Hey ref, Lando said it's a pen! The Lando said it's a pen! Now I want you to pause the episode and leave a comment below right now whether you think that was a penalty or a dive from King. Uh, I know what I think, but I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, SK the player. SK, well done! So again, it's our number seven, our player, Gaffer Ryan Palmer, just leading from the middle today, even though he's usually a winger, he's doing a great job. And here's our man, King, who is always a threat. Ryan Palmer's continued his run on the overlap, so he's, dragged, he's, he's created space for King. Uh, he's gone past two people, can he whip one in? Uh, and it's been cleared from Peckham. This is where I'm going to start shouting and go, man, I want you to get kit. You men are on the side with kit. You have got no fucking kit, and you're going to come on the pitch. If I go mad now, you say that I'm a madman. So again, that's Mad B on the sideline because apparently some of his players don't have kit. Um, so he's getting annoyed about it. But anyway, that's Ryan Palmer winning his battle in the middle of the park again. Um, and yeah, so far again, uh, the Dons have started brighter than, than, than Peckham so far. And some of this football is beautiful. I must say, it's one touch pass in King. He's found it through to Jack Aldino. Can we get a shot off? We need a goal. 1 0 is never safe in Sunday League football. Um, and here's Ryan Palmer again just collecting possession. What a fantastic game he's having so far. He's dragging him away. Can he win a foul? Certainly can. Yep. Well done, Zach. Come on, hey, You all need to be doing this. Look at Zach. Look at Zach. Look at Zach. So, Jazz has listened to Tyrone and spotted the run of Zach Ansar. Now, Zach Ansar sells guinea pigs. Stand him. Substitution, off comes Nathan the Cat, on comes Ramil. So here's Peckham now, at number 16 I was telling you about. He's trying his best, he's come through to the SK. It's a lovely little clearance, but how about this for some hold-up play from Zach Ansar? It's quality, it really is, man. He's smooth with it. He's looked up, that is King. King is on the break now, can he get a shot on goal? We need to put this game to bed. We need to put it to bed because we 1-0 is not safe. Here's Jack Aldinho. Yes! 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 And they said we were shit. Get your kit on, fam. Get your kit on. They need you. They need you, fam. They need you. It's hard work out there for them. And there is Sunday League's Linford Christie, Big G, doing a lap of the battlefield after we scored our goal. Now again, at 2-0 up, the game is definitely not finished, but we have found ourselves in control of this game. Now he's got to keep possession and make no mistakes, and hopefully get a third. Here's Zach Anzo, given to Ryan Palmer. Hey! Ryan! Cut the shit out! Keep kicking it over! Keep kicking it over! Jazzy! Jazzy! Jazz! So that was Big G just reminding the lads, listen, the game is not won yet, there's 90 minutes left. Let's do our jobs before we start mucking around. Anyway, this is Peckham on the break now. Down the wing, he's whipped one in. And I remember that clear as day, that was an open goal. Jazz literally got his big toe to the ball and he changed the spin of it and it's come off the knee of the Peckham Town striker. That is a let off. Um, here's Jackson Lewis, that's a warning sign. We, we call that one a warning sign. That's why Ryan Palmer just clears it out. But listen, how about this for some for, for work rate and desire from Jack Aldinho. He's sprinted over there to a nothing ball and he's forced to keep his knockout for a throw on. Now listen, some things I don't commentate over. I just leave it natural. Take this one in. Oh my. Yeah, I'm going to It's a golden boy. Now listen, we all like jam donuts, but Zach Answer has definitely accidentally picked up a custard donut in Sainsbury's with that one. He's our golden boy. But you want to know why he's our golden boy? lose to Peckham. We don't ever lose to Peckham. Oh shit. Safi's done. Safi's done. Angles, angles. How about this? Look at the whippage. Zach Answer, aka the answer. He has broke the net of again, possibly gold of the month again. It's your golden boy. Matty! Matty! Welcome to our ground! Welcome to our ground! Hey, you guys are scoring, he's a goal! Hey, Matt, they need you, bro! Hey, Matt, they need you! Now, listen, how about that for a response? I tell you what, Zach Anzu is possibly the worst miss in a Don shirt this season to replace it with, with another uh, fantastic goal as usual. Um, look, with 3-0 up, Ram Palmer's been fouled, been getting fouled all game. 
So he feels it's only right to offer this centre back his shin pad because he obviously wants it. Uh, but yeah, man, Don's 3 0. Now listen, I've left this clip in just to highlight Neil and what Neil does for the Dons. Um, an underrated footballer, this guy, very good baller. He doesn't do a thousand step overs, but he keeps possession with the ball. He holds play and brings people into play. This is Jackson Moose, just looking back as he passes the ball. Um, there's rumours going around that someone called his name in the stands uh, and he had to look back. Anyway, here's King. Um, what can he do here? He, he, he's gone down. It's got to be a penalty, surely. Uh, the ref uh, doesn't want to give it. Oi, Jack! Now listen, everyone knows I'm not biased, I always show clips. Um, we've been a better team today and look at this, some of the football we're playing at the moment is fantastic. They can't get the ball off us and Ryan Palmer's fouled their player there, I don't know how but he has. Anyway, here's Jackson Mutis, he's giving it to Zach Anse, tries to knock him off the ball but he ends up on his, uh, on his you know what. Um, he, and and uh, listen, I'm stuttering, I don't know. Four to one today, man, four to one. <laughs> So last of the two of the day, we've got Doug on the pitch, is Big G under pressure, he's kept it well, he's knocked out to myself, I've uh, gone back into the back three at the moment for the last like, 20 minutes I was in the back three, um, just, just, just to keep things short, I've knocked it over to Jazz, he's knocked it out, he's found the feet of King, it's a lovely little touch from him there, our number 11 whiz kid, um, only 19 years old this guy, look out for him, he's going to go places and I'll back that for some quick feet. Um, look, it's amazing, man. It's Neil again. Uh, Neil has just kept possession of the ball pretty well, and Ryan Palmer's calls the foul, I think. Yeah, and the ref's given it. Signed for the Dons in 2017, six foot six in Ugandan. His name's Big G. <laughs> so not long left now. Last five is more pressure from Peckham Town. Um, they've got down the wing and they've whipped one in. I've managed to get there and block it. I've cleared it only as far as one of their players um, on the edge of the box. Everyone's sort of slowing down. This is not good. Um, it's been cleared by Jazz. Um, it's, I don't know what that was, but it's come back to Peckham Town. Can he get a shot off? And it's gone over the bar. So after only 86 minutes, there goes the full-time whistle. The Dons take the victory, take the three points. Thank you to all our supporters who came out to support us. We have won our South London derby. Welcome to our ground. Welcome. Welcome to our ground. So a look at the league table. What does this do for the table? This puts the Dons into second place. On the same game played as Peckham, we are above them now. Although we messed up at the start of the year and have created ourselves a mountain. However, all we can do is keep winning our games and see what happens elsewhere. Tough battle. We knew it was going to be a battle. We knew it would be a hard game, but we start to our jobs, man. So we get the three points. Three points in the bag. Come on. You've got the two worst misses in a Don shirt. The two worst misses in a Don shirt today. It's the Dons. We're just doing what the Dons do. Anything for the Dons. See you next week. And subscribe. There's rumours going around before the injury that you had, you had a Don's contract on the table. A Don's contract? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about all of that. That's what we're hearing. Town, man. That's how it goes sometimes in football, you know. Yeah, you can, you can see Man United losing to Huddersfield yeah, 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 sometimes, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. You guys are a bit of a Huddersfield with United. It, you know, <laughs> <laughs> My analysis of that game, oh, oh, Peckham oh, oh. Town are shit. Oh, yeah. Shit! What do we think of shit? Pe